guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this problem without a calculator. So we have 5 to the power of 101 minus 5 to the power of 100. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m times a to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m plus n, right? And the same thing can be written vice versa. If we have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this can be written as a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So let's say we have 4 to the power of 3, right? And this means this can be written as 4 squared times 4 to the power of 1. Because when you multiply these two, the exponents add up and 2 plus 1 adds up to 3. So now what I'm going to do to 5 to the power of 101 is I'm going to rewrite it as 5 to the power of 100 times 5. And 5 is the same thing as 5 to the power of 1. And 100 plus 1 is 101. So now we are going to subtract this with 5 to the power of 100. And now that both of these terms have 5 to the power of 100 in them, I'm going to factor out 5 to the power of 100. So now we have 5 to the power of 100 times, now 5 to the power of 100 times 5 divided by 5 to the power of 100 is simply just 5, minus 5 to the power of 100 divided by 5 to the power of 100 is 1. So we have 5 to the power of 100 times 5 minus 1. 5 minus 1 is simply 4. So now we have 4 times 5 to the power of 100. And this is going to be our answer. Guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this problem without a calculator. So we have 50 to the power of 100 divided by 100 to the power of 50. So now what I'm first going to do is I'm going to take 50 here. And as you can see, it's to the power of 100. However, 100 is equal to 2 times 50, right? So I'm just going to say 50 to the power of 2 times 50. And we are going to divide this by now 100. This is equal to 2 times 50. So now we have 2 times 50 to the power of 50. Now, this is going to equal 50 to the power of 2 times 50 is simply equal to 50 to the power of 50 plus 50. Now we're going to divide this by 2 times 50 to the power of 50. This would equal 2 to the power of 50 times 50 to the power of 50. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So 50 to the power of 50 plus 50, this would equal 50 to the power of 50 times 50 to the power of 50. And we are dividing this with 2 to the power of 50 times 50 to the power of 50. And as you can see, we have 50 to the power of 50 in the numerator and the denominator, so these two would cancel out. And this would equal 50 to the power of 50 over 
2 to the power of 50. Now, if we have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So 50 to the power of 50 over 22 to the power of 50, this is going to equal 50 over 2 to the power of 50. And this is equal to 50 divided by 2 is 25. So 25 to the power of 50. Now 25, this is the same thing as 5 squared. So this is equal to 5 squared to the power of 50. And if we have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So this is going to equal 5 to the power of 2 times 50 which is simply just 5 to the power of 100. So this is our answer.